Good morning, everybody. We're going to be doing page 360, number 15, and a couple other selected problems. And we'll go through them real quickly. Uh, this one is a unique problem because the equations of the line are very simple. Y equals 3 and X equals 5. And it asks you to solve it graphically. Solving it graphically means you simply have to graph it. And how do you graph it? Y equals 3. If you graph Y equals 3 as follows. If you look over here, we'll put some reasoning behind this. If you're looking at y equals 3 and you write it in y equals mx plus b form, then you must realize that m is 0 because it's the only way this thing will work. y equals 0, x plus 3 means y equals 3. Forcing m to be 0, what does m equals 0 mean? What does it mean for the slope to be 0? Well, the slope is rise over run, and if the slope is 0, then that means the rise must be 0 because 0 divided by any number is equal to 0. Well, if the rise is zero, that means we've got a flat line. It's like we're rollerblading on Santa Monica Pier, or whatever it is. And that flat line is drawn at the point three, so y equals three. And there we go, that's the graph of y equals three right there. Again, one, two, three, your y-intercept is three, you draw the line horizontally through it. Now, we're still looking for a solution, and we have to graph x equals five. Well, when something is x equals something, then the slope is undefined. There is no y, and you can find this out as well by making a t-chart. This is another way you can do this, x and y. Go ahead, Katie, and put in, see if x is 5 for every value, then that means whatever we put in for y, we get x equal to 5. Put in 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever. Put in 0 for y, it's 5 for x. 1 for 5, 1, 5, whatever. So the graph of that has to be right here at x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the x-axis, straight up and down, x equals 5. It has to be that. So no matter what value of y, no matter what you put in for x, you get um, x equals 5. No matter what value of y you add, <coughs> excuse me, I'll edit that out. Um, <laughs> yeah, or maybe not. Anyway, um, no matter what value of y, x is equal to 5. And so you have a line that's straight up and down, like jumping down a cliffhanger or whatever you want to call it, um, cliff diver. Anyway, uh, the line, what we're looking for in this question is we're solving it graphically. What does it mean to solve? It means to find a solution. A solution to this system of equations is the place where they both cross, right there where we circled it, okay? At the point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3 up. 5, 3. So your solution is simply 5, 3. That's what you box, that's what you put in your answers, and you're done. That's number 15. We're going to proceed now to number 19, which is a very unique problem. Uh, number 19 on page 60, 360. We're going to solve this graphically. There are two equations, x plus y equals 4, and x plus y equals negative 4. And when we what well, the first thing we have to do when we're solving graphically is convert to y equals mx plus b. And the way we do that in this case is subtract x on both sides. We get y equals negative x plus 4. And on this one, when we subtract x, we get y equals minus x minus 4. Now, those two equations have to be graphed. So, what do we do? Well, we find the m here, and the b here, and the m here, and the b here, and we graph them. So let's do that. m equals negative 1 and b equals 4. On this one, m equals negative 1 and b equals negative 4. So, that's an interesting situation. What is it about this question that we can already see is a little bit different than everything else we've done? They're parallel. They're parallel because the slopes are the same. Right. The slopes are the same. So parallel lines, <coughs> no big deal. The, oh, I understand. The question you're asking yourself, if they're parallel lines, how are we going to find a solution? Well, let's graph them and see. Well, what is the solution? When you have two lines, can you graph them, please? Um, <laughs> And so when you have two lines, what has to happen for you to have a solution? Uh, a point. You have to have a point, a point of intersection. Exactly, you need a point of intersection. Um, so what is the point of intersection when you have two parallel lines? Let's go, b negative four, boom, 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 negative four, and then graph it. Down one over one, so it's gonna be a negatively sloped line, right? You go down one over one in that way, okay? You're graphing this one. The slope is negative one rise and run one run, so you graph it just that way. Yeah, go like this, <coughs> down one and over one, just like that, and then just draw a line through there. Okay. So there's your one line. That one is y equals negative x minus four, right? Y equals negative x minus four. 
And how did we find this right y equals negative x minus 4 right there? And how we found that was we went down 4 for our y-intercept, right? And then we, our slope is negative 1, so we went rise down 1 and run 1. We have our two points and we draw our line. We label these y equals negative x minus 4. We always put the graph's equation in there. Then the other line is this one, y equals negative x plus 4. So where do we start now? Up. up. Go up 4, plot our y-intercept at 4. And then from that point, we take one step down and one step to the right because, again, the slope is negative 1. And what do we have? Two parallel lines. Where do they cross? Nowhere. Parallel lines like this never cross. They never cross. See? They don't cross anywhere. Parallel lines in 3D. All right, so is there a solution? Is there a solution? Is there a solution? One, two, three, everybody. No. No. One, two, three, let's do it together. Is there a solution? No. One, two, three, everybody together. No. That's so not right. Come on, everybody, do a no, please. Give me a real good, loud no. One, two, three. No. Together. Come on, guys. Aren't you together? All right. No solution. No solution.